Hey there my friends I hope you are doing really well last week I shared a tutorial about making your regular portrait photos look extraordinary I showed you how to change the background and add some cool lighting effects using Photoshop if you missed it don't worry you can still watch it on my channel it's a simple step by step tutorial guide that I think you will really enjoy now let's talk about something exciting Creating this effect manually can take about 10 minutes each time and that can add up, right? So here is my idea. I decided to create something called an action or a PSD template. These are like shortcuts that can help us create this effect in no time. Plus I want to share this PSD file with all of you for free. That way you can use it for your own projects or even just for fun. It's my little gift to all of you. But I have a small request for all of you wonderful people out there. Please hit that subscribe button and show some support for my channel. Your support keeps me going and helps me create more of this helpful content that you love. Now let me guide you on how to get your hands on this file. It's super easy. I promise. Just click on the link provided in that video description and it will take you to the download page. Once you are there, simply click on the download button and the file will start downloading. After it's done downloading, all that left to do is open up that PSD file using Adobe Photoshop. Once you have successfully opened this PSD file in Photoshop, you will see a screen that looks something like this. One thing you might notice is a layer labeled place your image here. This layer is a smart object layer. All you have to do is double click on it. When you do that, it will pop open in your new document. This is where you will put your portrait photo. Now to get you a better picture, let's go through an example together. Head on up to the file menu and choose place embedded. After that, pick the photo you want to edit. For this example, let's select this photo. Just give it a click and the photo will pop right into your working area. You can adjust the size and placement of the photo to your liking. Once it looks just the way you want it, hit that enter key and you are good to go. All right. Let's hide the text layer for a moment. Now our next step is to create a mask for the background. Whenever I do this kind of work, I rely on the select and mask tool. It's super handy. Here is how you can use it. Go to select menu and pick select and mask. Before anything else, make sure to select cloud detail results. Now click on select subject to let Photoshop do its magic and select the subject of your photo. After that, Hit up refine hair. This part is especially helpful when you are dealing with hair or fine details. If your selection doesn't look right, use the refine edge brush to brush over the hair edges. It will make your selection look clean and sharp. Once you are satisfied with your selection, head over to the output settings, select output to and choose layer mask. Click OK. Finally, go to the file menu and save your work. That's it. Now return to the original document. The photo effect has been applied to the image, but it might not look quite right yet. We need to make some fine tuning adjustments to make it perfect for the picture. To start, let's focus on the background. Open up the background folder and pick a background that suits your taste. Here is a little heads up. If you are using this for free, you will have access to just one background texture. But for those who support me on Patreon or, or channel members, you get the special treat of having all the five background textures at your disposal. For this example, I personally like the combo of these two textures. But guess what? You can take it a step further by tweaking the colors. Just add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and you can change the colors of these textures. You can also adjust the background color to your preference. This not only adds a personal touch, but also helps make your subject really stand out. So get creative. Now let's pay some attention to the effect itself. If you feel like the HDR effect is a bit too strong for your taste, don't worry, we can adjust it. Simply double click on the shadows and highlights adjustment layer. You will see some sliders there. Slide them around until the effect looks just the way you want it. You can make it lighter or darker depending on your preferences. Okay. Now let's tackle that outer glow. If you are not loving how it looks and you want it to spread out more, double click on the layer style of the outer glow layer. 
this will open up some options find the one that says size and increase it you will see the glow getting bigger and softer once it looks just the way you like it click ok you have got even more creative control if you want to change the inner shadow color to blend in seamlessly with any background lights it's like customizing your photo to the max here is how to do it open up the inner shadow settings look for the option to change the color and pick a hue that matches the background lights this will make everything look super harmonized beautifully but we are not done yet head over to the adjustment folder and open up the color lookup settings you will find a bunch of cinematic color presets that can give your photo a unique vibe go ahead and explore and pick the one that complements your effect it's like choosing the perfect flavor to spice up your image kindly note for patreon users you get additional background textures so that you can fine tune or select the texture accordingly to match the colors of your image for free users you get only one background texture so become a channel member or patreon supporter to get multiple textures i upload useful content regularly for patreon supporters so support me it helps me a lot that's it here is before and after thanks for watching see you guys in the next video take care and happy editing